Hi and welcome to Vport Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to change uh, the headlight lens on the P3 uh, Volvos. So it's the V70, the XC70 08 to 16 and also the S80 from 06 to 16. So these lenses are in plastic and they go bad uh, after a while with uh, stone chips and uh, uh, sun making them uh, yellow. Lots of people sand them down and then polish them up and that uh, works for a while but often there is also some damage on the inside of the lens. So in this video I'll show you how to completely change this uh, lens to a new one and also we're gonna change this reflector from the orange one that's the standard on the older models to this white one that makes the car look much newer. So let's get into it. Here's some of the tools you need to do this job. You need a Dremel, a heat gun, flathead screwdrivers and pliers. We can start off by taking this uh, rubber seal off the top of the headlight. When we've done that, we can turn it around, put on your safety gear so you look cool like me, and then we can start cutting with the Dremel uh, from the un underside of the headlight. You cut around uh, one centimeter, one and a half centimeter from the edge of the headlight. Don't cut too deep with the Dremel because then you will make ugly marks as it's pretty close to the uh, lens. You just go around the whole uh, headlight with the Dremel, make sure it's completely off. And when you've done that, you can locate the screws that holds the uh, reflector to onto the headlight lens. There are two on top and one underneath. And you need to cut the plastic things off them to make the headlight lens clear of it. And when that's done, you can use a flathead screwdriver to get the last bit of plastic that's melted together again uh, to separate from the uh, headlight. When that's done you can remove the front piece of the headlight lens. And then you can use a wire cutter to cut the pieces of the plastic as far down as you can. Kind of uh, break it so you get a start from where you can remove it completely. Use a heat gun to heat the plastic around the headlight to uh, make it easier to move and not break when you use uh, the screwdriver here to, to separate the glue and the headlight lens. This can be a hard part to get the first uh, piece out and get started. That's why it's good with a plier that you can use to get a good grip on this uh, piece that's left here. I really recommend going a bit by bit here to uh, not break anything more. So you can heat a bit and remove it, heat a bit and remove it. When you separate the glue, you hold it towards the black piece so you get as much glue off of it as possible. Then you get less to clean up afterwards to remove this uh, plastic piece. And also use some heat and bend these uh, blocking clips away from the headlight lens. And then afterwards we will heat them and bend them back so they will lock the headlight lens in place again.
corners here are definitely the worst because they are super tight. Uh, but with some uh, heat and uh, smaller screwdrivers, it's, it goes pretty well. There we go, we got this uh, piece out of it. As you can see here, we broke off this glued in piece that uh, holds this uh, reflector. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't really uh, matter because this is anyway screws into the headlight lens. And we can put some extra glue here, it shouldn't be a problem at all. And now it's time to clean up here, get all the old glue uh, away from here so we will have a nice fit on the new headlight lens. Uh, I think this is the best way of doing this is with a flathead screwdriver and just scraping it off as much as possible so you can reach. And when that's done, we can take off the screws here that holds this reflector thing, as we will have to use them for the new one. We will also change the side marker from the orange to a white one and make the car look newer. And these are just held in by clips, so we just take it away and press press the new one in. When that's done, we can put this reflector in, back inside the new headlight lens. We use the screws to secure it. And when we're done with that, we use air to uh, remove any, any dirt that's inside the headlight. It's very important that you don't uh, put your fingers or anything inside the headlight or on the chrome pieces because they scratch really easily and it's almost impossible to clean them off without scratching them off. And then we can bend these uh, clips back uh, so they will lock the new uh, headlight lens, lens in. And then we also put the new nice glue in here. Just put uh, enough that you will need. It's not super important that you, if you accidentally put too much, because this is almost not uh, visible at all when the, when it's on the car. Now we put this back at an angle. Uh, one good thing to think about is that the material, the plastic material in the headlight uh, house is pretty bendable, especially when it's heated up. So you might have to bend it outwards again to make the headlight lens fit. If there's some spillage of the glue or it's a bit too much, you can use, use a paper towel to remove it. And then when that's done, use some uh, protection and lock this in, let it dry as long as the glue says it needs to dry. And when that's done, we have a finished product that will look amazing. Okay, so that's job done. I think I spent around uh, one and a half hour making one side. I think the result speaks for itself. It looks like a brand new light and it will make the car look fantastic. Of course, you can buy the lens, the side marker and the glue on dparts.se. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.